This is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Marvel's Blizzard. The figure is part of the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure wave of uh, Marvel Legends Avengers Infinite Series figures. Six inch figures. You need all seven of these figures to build the Hulkbuster armor. Okay. All right, uh, I thought this would be the weakest figure in the wave. Perhaps it is uh, compared to the others. Thundra and Blizzard, I think, would be the weakest. But it, this, you know, it's well, it's definitely not the best in the wave. But it, I think, it turned out very well, despite a lot of white or shimmery white paint app paint apps on this figure. I think Hasbro still did a wonderful job with the paint apps for this one. There are some imperfections that you'll come across with this figure, as you can see, uh, unevenness. But all in all, I think the figure still looks okay. Uh, main, my main interest for this figure is because it is a an Iron Man villain. First came first time I came across this guy is I, wa I was watching these the Saturday morning cartoons of uh, the I can't even remember Adventures of Iron Man or something like that using this armor and then he had the suitcase that turned into his armor anyway so I thought it was pretty neat and um, the, the obviously he does not come with this. Uh, Accessory. This is an Iron Man 2 3.75 inch uh, accessory or in some Marvel Universe figures. No, just Iron Man figures. And apparently it does fit on this guy's hand. It gives him that great cool effect. So, who knew? I was about to throw away these things back in the day, but uh, glad I didn't. So he has that. Uh, some. It is the Baron Zemo, Cyclops, Hydra Soldier, Batroc male medium male body mold and has the same articulation as those i'm not going to discuss it anymore because this this is this is the dcuc um figure recycled figure mold for hasbro there are some weak joints like the elbows knees are okay just the elbows on this figure are a little bit weak but all in all i think it's a pretty neat figure uh, it's a great figure to have on your iron man shelf and uh, I'm pretty glad with it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to get uh, an 8 out of 10 for me. Not too bad. They could have done more by giving him accessories. And though I think the reason they couldn't give him accessories was they had to get a figure that would hold the upper torso of the Hulkbuster. Some assembly is required. I'll, I'll show this off when, when we build the whole Hulk, Hulkbuster armor uh, figure. There you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video review. Don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel, Shafatron. I'll, I'll show you more videos. Marvel, Transformers, Star Wars, and G.I. Joe's. Thanks for watching.